All right, so we're on to day two of the MLF Pro Circuit title championship. I was in group B, so I fished on Wednesday and Friday, trying to make the knockout round. I knew I needed about 21 pounds at this point to jump up into contention there. I think I had 17 the first day and I had my work cut out for me. So I had a decision to make. Do I stay local, try to get more fishing time? I had some areas in Ogdensburg that I thought I could do 18 to 20. Um, just, I didn't know if I could get that 21, 22 pounds I needed to really work my way up. So I made the decision. We're taking the bass cat. We're running all the way back down again. So I made another 200 mile run on Friday, got down there. And instead of starting on the area where I caught a majority of my weight, I had that 15, 16 pounds up um, in that 25 foot of water. It's a little drop there with some grass and bunch of bait. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go start shallow. I'd seen some big ones on in practice and then in um, the tournament on day one. I just couldn't get them to go. So start up there, looking around, uh, sight fishing, same thing, taking the Z-Man. Uh, trick shot. I was actually using bad shad on the start of the morning on day two, but I would mix in the green pumpkin goby again like I did on day one. And I'm just pitching that fish I see I see up there, and there's a couple I pitched at. One go, one go. There four plus, like just good solid fish. And I saw one up there, kind of off in the distance. I flew over to it, hook it. I had a battle on. I fought him for a long time. It took me a while to finally get him up to the boat. But first one in the boat of the morning, five thirty-five, big one. And I was just, I was psyched about it. It was a really good one. Um, and I knew this area just had that caliber of fish. There's so many four to five pounders. And the trick here was going to be is I only had a short day. So I didn't have all the time I needed to really get in on these fish and really put a ton of effort in the sight fishing for them. So I spent the next two and a half hours doing this and I had some fish that throw the bait in there to be circling it, looking at it, circling it, it just would not go. So it was kind of frustrating from that aspect. I hooked one for like a second, pulled him up to the surface, he kind of spit it out. And that was another four pounder. I had another one that went down on it. I set the hook and had him for like half a second, came off. Uh, I caught a couple small ones. And at that point I was like, I need to make a change here. I'm in an area that I knew I had some fish about two miles away. Um, didn't go check it on day one, but I went there day two. Started dragging through it. First thing, I caught like a four pounder. It was in 20 foot of water. So then I was like, all right, I'll make this drift again, drift through it again, and I catch another one that's probably close to four pounder. So at this point, I had three solid fish, um, and I had two small ones. Drifted a couple more times, didn't have anything going. Um, ran back to one shallow area, made a couple casts there where I caught that 535 this morning. Does I saw two other ones that were probably the same four pounders I saw before. Couldn't get them to go. Um, Ran to the deep spot that I would caught those largemouth and the smallies on day one. Same thing, a little green pumpkin goby trick shot. Pitching around, caught two there, um, called me up, and I ended up with almost 19 pounds. Um, and it just, it wasn't enough. I knew I needed that big bag, and I had two that were probably a three pounder and a three and a quarter or something like that that just, they killed me. They just killed the weight. If I could have got two of those better bites in the morning, it would have probably made the difference to making that knockout round. But just kind of how it went. I had fun. I love fishing up there. It's just one of those deals where it's hard to get on those fish consistently when you're making that really long run. You got to put them in the boat quick. Um, I was using a favorite rod. I've talked about this rod the past three years. It's a 721 medium heavy jackhammer. It's super parabolic. It's got a nice fast tip. So when this fish bite, you really unset the hook. Super light. Um, the whole setup, just to go through it for you, I had a 2500 rush spinning reel. That's uh, made my favorite as well. It's really good. I put 15 pound Seaguar flash green Smackdown uh, braid on there. I like that flash green because you can see it. It's a little bit more, um, it's brighter so I can see my line start moving off or whatever's going on. I was using gold label, eight pound, um, fluorocarbon time about a 10 to 15 foot stretch of that on Hayabusa DSR 132 HD um, drop shot split top drop shot hook little guy would just nose hook him put it right in the nose of this guy this uh, Z-Man trick shot and then I was using a half ounce angler tungsten drop shot weight I was using the cylinder I really like that it um, comes to the rocks and all that really well so it's a good uh, 
want to try um, if you want to get some of that shoot me a message I can get you a code from angler tungsten's website um, I can help you out with favor rods the code GB20 if you want to try an aqua view how I found a lot of these deeper fish uh, it's buck 2022 that'll save you 10% off their website so I got bunch of codes um camp chairs gci outdoor it's gray buck 15 i'll save you 15 percent. those things are sweet you can rock um check those out if you have any other questions put them in the comments below we're down to our last tournament of the year it's gonna be on the chesapeake bay it's a Bassmaster open we'll see how that one goes i'm really looking forward to it it's the closest tournament i'll probably personally ever have um to my home it's about an hour and a half so it's day trippable i've spent some time down there over the years but not a place I've ever fished a big tournament. So I've never spent multiple days down there in a row trying to really dial it in. So we're going to see what happens there. Um, after that, we're going to go do a little vacation, going out to Washington State, going to go sturgeon fishing. So you're going to stay tuned probably, I would say, early October. There'll be a nice sturgeon fishing video up here, hopefully, where I catch a nice maybe six, seven, eight, ten footer. Who knows? So lots of fun things coming. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And... Hope you guys get out fishing and have a great day. Big one. Number one. Oh, that's a big one. Right there. Oh, that one's gonna get us back in it. I gotta get a good limit now. Oh, that's a beast.
535. That's what we need to start the morning.
road, Jeff? Huh? You hitting the long road?